What's going on guys? A lot of you guys requested me to do a Fortnite FPS boost, so I guess it's time to do a Fortnite FPS guide. Alright guys, so let's get it started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is launch Fortnite and go into the settings and make sure all your settings are set to the lowest. Also make sure that VSync motion blur and grass is off. Now at the end of the video, if your FPS is still bad, then make sure the game is on windowed mode and set the lowest display resolution you are comfortable with. It will make your game a little smaller, but the FPS will go up. The smaller the box, the more FPS you will get. This method is super quick and simple. You're going to launch the game and open up task manager by right clicking your taskbar or clicking control plus alt plus delete at the same time. Then make sure you're in the details window. Then find the Fortnite client dash Windows 64 or it'll say Windows 32.exe, depending on your computer. It should be similar to mine though. Right click it and hover over set priority and then click on high and then click change priority. This will help your computer focus more power onto the game. Now we are going to want to edit one of the files. Before we do this, we need to make sure that we can see hidden files and folders. So first visit the control panel by searching for it, then go into appearance and personalization, then file explorer options, hit the view tab and make sure hidden files and folders is on the show hidden and files box. Then go to your C drive, then users, then your computer name, then app data, then local, then find the Fortnite game folder then save, then config, then Windows client. Now I'm going to have the destination folder on the screen so you guys can just pause the video and get to the folder. Now before we proceed, copy and paste the game user settings file somewhere on your computer just in case you want to put the settings back to where they were. Now once you're in the folder, open up the game user settings.ini file or it'll just say game user settings. Right click it and hit edit. Now we're going to edit four lines, the resolution size X, resolution size Y, last user confirmed resolution size X, and last user confirmed resolution size Y. Now the resolution size X should be 600, the resolution size Y should be 800, last user confirmed resolution size X, 600, and the last user confirmed resolution size Y, 800. Make sure your settings are just like mine and just hit the save button. Now this next setting will make sure that your computer isn't in like a power saving mode. Now we have to get into the power options. So go into the control panel, then system and security, then power options, then make sure it's set to high performance. That's it guys. So it might be on balanced or power saving, but just make sure it's on high performance. All right, so next we're gonna change your Windows design into a more ugly looking design. But in return, this should give you that little bit of more FPS. Now, first we're gonna to wanna to go into control panel, then system and security, then system, and click advanced system settings. Then click on settings in the performance box. Then click the box that says adjust for best performance. This will freeze up your screen for a few seconds and you'll notice your windows looking a little uglier after this, although it should help boost your FPS. Next, we're going to want to download CCleaner. This will find any files that you don't know about that aren't important on your computer and it will remove them. First, visit CCleaner's website, which is pyreform.com. Then click free download, then download and install it. Once you have installed it, hit the analyze button and let it run. After that, hit the run cleaner button and let that run. Next, go into the registry tab and click scan for issues and let that run. After it's done, click fix selected issues and then click fix all selected issues. Now CCleaner is known to boost your computer's performance. So guys, try this out. It's not gonna hurt. All right guys, so we're gonna wanna set your course to the highest amount to make sure your computer is running at its fullest potential. So go into the search bar and type in msconfig, then go to boot and then go to the advanced options and enable number of processors. Then click the drop down and set it to the highest number you have. So minus 16, you might have six or eight or any other number. Then click okay and hit apply. Well guys, that's the guide. I'm hoping this guide has helped you boost any FPS in Fortnite. Let me know in the comments below. A like and sub would be appreciated. And also let me know what video you would like to see next. Anyways guys, see you on the next one.